was a, a very safe role uh, in terms of antioxidant production. Um, the, very quickly, uh, the work of the Russian about the oil uh, has to be praised because you see they have uh, really sophisticated the field, uh, specializing in uh, defining the exact quant quantity of peroxide, the acid levels, and so on. We are we have no time on doing that. We, we just make a low, medium, and high peroxide level, but this is not good enough. I think their work is is fine because also they study each pathology in relation to the oil to be applied, and this is very very useful. Um, the, uh, we have a case of uh, um, multiple sclerosis. It's very good, and very well studied. I mean, I would say I'm very glad that you, you present the case. I don't know why they stopped after six months of some therapy because it, we, we have, you see, the problem with the multiple sclerosis. Uh, for years and years, I have been trying to, to do a trial. But you know why? Because the patients and the, uh, above all, the neurologists are very well um, sponsored by the pharma, big pharma. No, I, it must be said. You see, they gave the interferon beta-1 or uh, other drugs, most interferon beta-1, and they don't want to do, to try anything else because they are very afraid that the patient could not recover. Well, we did two, two patients, I don't know why, because they were answered, uh, they had uh, side effects with interfering with her. And they, they, I agree with you, we must use low, very low doses in this case, because otherwise you can't switch on the uh, immunological effect. We had to have done, still, uh, must be a little oxidation, but very, very gentle, in order in the brain to really increase the antioxidant response. That is very, very important. So I agree with him. Also, we had patients for six, seven months, and then, then they disappeared. <laughs> we don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a very important disease. Um, uh, that, um, also, the, the, the doctor studied the, the I think, the fibromyalgia. Uh, also, we had experience in fibromyalgia, and uh, we had uh, more or less the same percentage of success. The only suggestion I might give, mm -hmm. if useful, in the trigger points, because sometimes you have, they have pain in the trigger points, we uh, invented, so to speak. We prepare a little blood from the patient, of course, and we did a little autohemotherapy, ozonated of course, in the trigger point, just a few minutes. If you inject that in the trigger points, it, very, it seems it releases the pain also because probably with blood that the, in that case is completely broken down, the platelets release the whole factor, there is a, a sort of a, a reconstruction. Mm -hmm. So that's, a, that's a, a good. And uh, if I may also, you see, yes, okay, you, you must start with low doses. Mm -hmm. all. There is no discussion. But I want to inform all the audience, because you see, the practical physician has not the tool or the laboratory where to measure the antioxidant uh, potency of the plasma. Now, we have in Europe, we have, we have done thousands of these measurements. And in Europe, the antioxidant level is pretty high. It ranges between 1.3 and 1.8 millimola. So it's a, it's a great uh, difference, but it's still very high. Now, if you start to do ozone therapy with only 5 micrograms or so, or even 10, but it depends, of course, on the antioxidant properties of the, of the plasma. You risk to do a placebo. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because, you see, the best thing that ozone finds in the plasma 
<laughs> and the antioxidants, you know, the uric acid, the ascorbic acid, uh, glutathione, a little glutathione, and so on. So, if you give it too little, you risk to neutralize completely your ozone dose and have a, a placebo effect. So, okay, I, I use the axiom, start low, go slow. What means this? We start, we must start at 10, about 10, 15. If the patients come back and ask him, how have you been? Oh, I have been very well. Or I have been very sleepy. Okay, if you have been very sleepy, it means that the doors I did were so high. So I, I go back. But if they say, okay, perfectly well, I, I was very alert. Okay, then we really start to increase. Five, five micrograms each time. So, so if you start from 10, then you can go to 15, then 20, and so on. And there is, I assure you, even if you go to 80, 80 micrograms, that the, 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 the highest range in our therapeutic window, there is no hemolysis, or at the most 0.5%, almost nothing. Because, you see, uh, the, the, the red cells are shielded very well by the algae. So, but I, I never go to 80. But, uh, okay, let's start low. But then, progressively, according to the response of the patient, you start to increase. Because, you see, any time you do ozone therapy, you do a, an oxidative stress. That's the, that's the point. If you do an oxidative stress, you have a, a response by the organism, a, 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 a term of a ozone tolerance. So if you start to, to remain at that dose, uh, the, effect, uh, the therapeutic effect decreases. Okay. So you have to increase a little bit. Thank you, Professor Bartier. Uh, that's a, Thank you. a suggestion for everyone.